connection do you see between drums and physics? Thank you very much, Professor. The drum cannot be played by itself, so it needs the force of a human being whereby learner can be included. They use their palm to play it. As they play the, the drum, the skin around the opening, the mouth of the drum, which we call the hole, it will be vibrate. And this vibration, you cannot see it with your own naked eyes. But if you touch, you can feel it. So this move, moving of back and forth in scientific, we call it oscillations. This is how we can link it when we are teaching the concept of sound in the physics. So first of all, you talked about vibration. Yes. And the, in physics, you say this is... It's also vibration because that's now transforming of air particles. So by that transforming of air particles, then it means the sound production from the drum is being transferred to the ears of the audience, then sound can be heard. What about the making of the drum? The making of the drums, this is also symbolizing the factor that affecting the sound phenomenon. We have the tensions, frictions, uh, it's not friction, sorry, frequency, and also the pins. So when we look at the making of the drums, we use skin. So the skin, and we cut a wood, we make the hole, so that this sound cannot spread out, but should be have a channel where it can go and emit outside there. So on the opening, where we put covering with the skin, and this skin, the secret in it, so the size of this skin, in terms of thick and thin, determine the pinch and the frequency of the sound factor. So when you have the, diame the diameter of the opening of the, of the drum, it also it determines the loudness and the softness of the sound. So when you strange, normally in our indigenous manner, we warm it on the open fire. So when we warm the skin, it now stretch, become more tight. So when it become more tight, then the tone of the sound become higher than the one which is loosed. So in the category, the minimum number of drums depend on the type of dance and the melody that can be produced by the sound. So we have the different, the main one, in our language we call it Kurugoma, and we have the second one, which we call it Kinza, and the last one, that can be the last, but as many it can be, we call it Machakiri. But when we are playing, we start with the smallest one, the number three, and then followed by the second one and the main. So the main, why we say the main, is always give the bass sound, because the diameter is very, very, very big. So you're saying that, number one, the preference for a triplet, if you want. Yes. Three drums. Three drums. Rather than two. Rather than two, but based on the type of uh, mm -hmm. there's in the melody that you want to produce. Okay, and so the diameter of the drum yeah. determines the the the, 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 the tone mm -hmm. of the sound. Uh -huh. So the higher the, and the lower, it based on the diameter. When you take the main the main one, because the diameter that's surrounding the mouth, the opening, is it can be more 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 low, and which now it should be in the bass form. So the tone that it cannot be the, the much, much, much higher. But the small one, which have the small diameter. Small diameter, So yes. then the length, because when you say diameter, it involves the length. It's just like the string of the kwitala does. So when you are pressing toward, you are reducing the length, then the tone of the sound becomes more higher as you are moving away. So, right. Yes. So in the drum, it's about the size, the, 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 the size the of the opening. And, okay. So when you when it's more wide, then the diameter increase, and then the sound and the tone it become low. So in other words, the people who make drums are actually doing or practicing, experimenting with sound and with physics. Yes, 
uh, people who are making the drum. Mm -hmm. So they know when you beat the drum, when you mm -hmm. play it, obviously it gives sound. And sound is one of the components that we found in physics. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I noticed um, you said that um, the, if you use the skin of a goat, yes. it's a little different from if you use the skin of, of, a, of cow. a cow. Can you comment a bit on that, please? It, yes. So when this skin is more thin, so it vibrates and the tone becomes higher than the one which is thick because it vibrates very slow and then the tone becomes also low, not loud. That's now the, the phenomena behind the skin of a cow, then the skin of a goat. But mostly the main, the main drum, which is the big one, they use the skin from a cow because it's very thick. Then it vibrates slowly and it produces the bass sound, which is very loud. Then the one that are used by a skin from a goat, which is very thick. Would the length of the stick, the stick. have any implications for sound? If it's so, the, it, yeah, the, the, the length of the stick, normally it will not have the implication, but only the way how they move it. So, mm -hmm. because when, you, when, when it's very short, then it will be some implications between you and the drum. So, but when they become longer, then you can apply even the, some distance from you and the drum. But otherwise, people prefer to use their own palm because they mm -hmm. can control it. When they touch, they control the vibrations of the skin so to produce different tone of the drum. Okay. Yeah. Well, finally, um, you have you are from Namibia, of course, and you have been um, using aspects of indigenous knowledge, right, in yes. terms of um, understanding, explaining phenomena, etc. Well, I want to thank you very much for your very illuminating discussion, and I'm sure that this may probably trigger some you know, additional research into physics by people who watch this. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor.